I'm John Montgomery, Olympic gold medalist, TV personality, and now Canada's Wildhood Ambassador. Get ready, because we're hitting the road in my RV and uncovering some of the best spots in Canada to explore, sip, eat, and play. This is Brew Docking. Niagara Region is one of Canada's worst kept secrets when it comes to wine. But between the vines, you'll find an extensive network of farmers and producers and some hidden gems too. Craft beer, spirits and ciders are seeping into wine country and luckily for me, there's a lot of great food that goes along with it too. Our first stop is Bench Brewing, a Belgian inspired farmhouse brewery. A place where old school meets new school, literally. I'm ready to learn and it's gonna be hopping. Matt, thanks for having us here in Lincoln today at this amazing brewery. I, I will say that I was curious as to what bench was a reference to, but when I get here, I, I see maybe it's more geologically based than anything. Absolutely, it is geological. We're here in the Niagara Benchlands and it's uh, that, that big hill that you see just beside you uh, on the way to the escarpment. The soil is, is a direct result of the bench. The minerality that we have that uh, it imparts flavoring, even in our hops and our apples, it's, it's because of the bench. Farmers on both sides of our property, they've been farming in their family for over 200 years. 200 years here? 200 years here, same families. So real great examples of stewards of the land and have been great mentors to us here at Bench as we learned our way, as we planted our hops, as we planted our apples and, and, and created that real agricultural DNA of Bench. Have those people equipped you with some tools to, to be able to be a productive member of this community? Definitely people love the fact that we're a farmhouse brewery, that we work with all our local farmers to add these type of inputs to our beer. So that's our d d differentiator that I think not a lot of breweries have, and, and it's because of where we are in, in this rural setting. You love the area, obviously. You are passionate about the product. How do you perpetuate this notion that if we're going to do something well and do it for a long time, we have to consider where it's coming from. Preserving the environment is one of our core values here at Bench. We have a saying that the environment has a seat at the table for all of the important decisions that we make here. So basically that then says, how can we be sustainable? Sustainable is a business long term, but sustainable and, and minimizing our environmental footprint at, at every turn. So I guess sustainability for us is a sustainability journey. It started at the very beginning when we opened our doors um, they say the most sustainable building to, to build is one that's been built already. And as you know, brewing is, is quite water intensive. So it was very important for us to repurpose all of our water. So we can serve, we use as little water as possible. We recycle, we recycle all of our brewery wastewater and we reuse. All that water is used for irrigation of our hops and our apples. The organics that we take out during that recycling process, we use for fertilizer. The spent grain that we use, that's given to a local farmer for his livestock. So basically everything's reused. So we call it a zero wastewater footprint. We talked to Sarah Casorso, head brewer, about taking a sip on the funk side. The funk side is all about wild yeast and spontaneous ales. Really, it's anything that you want to make it. We don't keep it inside a box. What we do on this side is incorporate as much local fruit from the Niagara Benchlands as we possibly can. Local barrels from wineries, uh, Forty Creek, whiskey makers, uh, anything we can incorporate locally into the beer we do on this side. And we're able to do that because the yeast tree environment whereby if there's a little bit of wild yeast on the fruit, it doesn't matter because it's all working together uh, towards the final product. The fruit that goes into the beer, Yes. is it because it's available? Is it because people are asking for it or is it because it can do something truly remarkable? Truly remarkable. It's some of the best fruit in the world and it's local. I mean, what could be better than that? Uh, so strawberries, peaches, plums, cherries, you name it. If we grow it in this area, we will use it in the beer. A great many people come to the area for one specific thing. Are people surprised when they find out that there is an amazing brewery in wine country? Pleasantly surprised and happy because a lot of the wineries close around 5 or 6 p.m. and we're open till <laughs> 9. So they go on their wine tour and then they finish at bench for a nice bite to eat and a, a nightcap. Good opportunity to cleanse the palate too before they get into some other varieties. Absolutely. Well, thank you for being a shining example of what's possible because everybody knows beer. Everybody knows that somebody makes beer. And most people assume that it's some dude. I truly live by, if you can see it, you can be it. And we're trying to get more women into this trade. And I just think a lot of women don't know that it's a possibility for them. So I'm here to show you that it is. I'm stopping by at 180 Winery. 
Its namesake is a nod to the owner's quest to leave the city and pursue their passions in the country. Pull up a chair and enjoy a glass of wine while surrounded by beautiful views and soak in every breath of that billowy wine country air. In the heart of Niagara-on-the-Lake is Treadwell Cuisine, an ode to farm-to-table dining. I'm here to meet with James Treadwell, the co-founder and sommelier. James, I don't think there is a place in the world that I've heard mentioned more times in my life in Canada that I've never been. Niagara-on-the-Lake is that spot. I find myself here today, and I'm gonna tell you, it's awesome. I'm looking at world-class preparation of world-class ingredients. Why is preparing with local ingredients important to you and this restaurant? When my father and I started the restaurant back in 2006, we brought this European mentality where a restaurant is supposed to showcase the incredible artisans of that particular region. We're very fortunate here in Niagara that over the last maybe decade or two, there've been more and more of these passionate artisans making some incredible wines, uh, but also growing some incredible product for the restaurant and other restaurants around the region too. And you're not just seeing it down here, you're now seeing it in major, very popular restaurants in Toronto, Ottawa, around the province really. We're very passionate about this, as I mentioned, to the point where we actually list our suppliers on the back of the menu. We have nothing to hide here. When I look at the quality of food in front of me, when I look at that wine rack behind me, some people might think that this area isn't for them. Is it only for the super affluent and the culturally elevated? Absolutely not. No. Like, I think that, you know, the fortunate thing here is that you have just, it's a playground for everyone. And it's something where um, I, I think now more than ever, we're able to really have our guests customize their experience depending on what they want to do here in Niagara. And that's really, really exciting because we've come such a long way. And, and I think the last two years has really given us renewed focus on making sure that we can give guests what they're looking for, whether it's on the micro level here uh, at the restaurant or just as a region as a after some tasty food and tipples, it's time to relax and recharge at 124 on Queen Hotel and Spa. Take a dip in the pool, steam things up in the sauna, and chill out in the snow cave. How's that for a multi-sensory experience? After that, I'm pampered, relaxed, and ready to roll.
It's easy to get busy in everyday life and forget to pause and soak in our surroundings. With a weekend of great brews, local food, wine, and a sky-high adrenaline rush, I'm ready to hit the ground running again. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you down the road somewhere.